Yeah, and that'll, be, that'll do him a little bit of confidence again. You know, when you fly into a tackle like that, you're really feeling it, and hopefully he works on the other hand for him where he wants the ball. And Jamal Lowry oh, gets a shot away Great there, save. parried over by Dan Bentley. And it will be a corner for the home side. Andre Ayew crying out for a free kick there. Jamal Lowe gets a shot away, but Dan Bentley with a stunning save. Yeah, them two up front causing problems there. It's a great shot, and it's a great save, to be fair to him. Roberts into Lowe, who finds Dander, looks to get the shot away, but again, Dan Bentley makes himself big and parries the shot away. But here's Roberts. The attack isn't over for Swansea. Now are you? Spots Bidwell at the back post, but his header isn't strong enough. But Dan Bentley again digging Bristol City out of a hole. He should do better, I think, Dan Dander there. He's, uh, we, the interesting thing for me was the defence have been out of position there. You trust your keeper all the time, and um, as a defender, you've got, you can't go towards the play. You've got to make sure you're marking your man. And we all have trust in Benson, you know, from the angles. He made a great save, but. Yeah, we need to stay with the runners. We can't let three balls go through that easy. Grimes looks for the run of Jamal Lowe, but there is Callas again, but he finds Jan Dander. White shirts flooding forward. Now Roberts. It's a low cross towards the back post. Misses everybody in the end, I think. Jack Hunt was the man arriving, just gets enough of a touch to... put off those advancing white shirts. Yeah, we talk about doing your jobs and Bidwell really should have an easy shot there, but he stayed with the run, he stayed with the man and he's made it awkward for him and he's missed it. And that's what happens when you're, you're honest with your work rate and you know you stick to what the coaches have been telling you to do. In comes the corner. Cabango, the target. Back in from Horahan. Danger for Bristol City. Are you rises highest goal line clearance? Cries that the ball went over the line. Referee. Not interested. Maps right, right place, right time there. It just fell nicely onto the line. Bristol City players throwing their body on the line, and there's Dan Bentley again with a fabulous save. I can't, Swansea I just, cannot believe that the ball isn't in the net. It might have been towards him, but that was some save that because I thought I just cursed him there. He's made a one and two save. It was unbelievable. Are you appealing for a handball off Mariapa? But the defending has been sensational for Bristol City, and again, Dan Bentley has to tip that over the crossbar. See the replays now. It will be a penalty. He's inside the box. Casey Palmer. Furious with the referee. Nigel Pearson has his hands on his head. Stopping the Bristol City goal. Andre Ayew steps up. Dan Bentley inches away from parrying that beyond the post. But Ayew opens the scoring at the Liberty Stadium and Bristol City will have to come from behind. Yeah. Hard one to take that. Good penalty. Dive the right way, Dan Bentley. Yeah, Whisker great, away, great. but Andre Ayew, he's a clinical striker. Yeah. Yep, objective is clear now for Bristol City. Got four substitutes left to make if they require them. How about that from Zach Viner? Almost gets away from Gahey. He does here. Zach Viner's in. Can he find the finish? Yes, he can. It's Naki Wells at Bristol City on the 65th minute on level at the Liberty. Outstanding from Zach Viner there. Just out of the pitch, you just see him burst into that tackle, made one, then made the second. And I thought he probably passed the ball too early, but he was absolutely on the money. And just a man on his right foot, 
finishes it so calmly. And that is Zach Viner creating something from nothing then. What about that for a finish? Clinical from Naki Wells. He's in good form. It's a great finish, but another build up of play that is what we're all about. Aggression, forward passing, forward running. Celebrations among the coaching staff as well. Paul Simpson and Nigel Pearson coming together. Zach Viner there showing every aspect of his game. Defensively, then forward, running as well. And then the composure to find that pass and find Naki Wells. Looked frustrated at times. But again, he's been the real menace for Bristol City going forward this afternoon as Casey Palmer wanders across to take this corner. Eleven minutes remaining here on Robins TV. A crowd of red shirts looking to put Woodman under pressure. In comes the corner and it's in! And Bristol City have the lead at the Liberty Stadium and it's Casey Palmer. Had to be that man, didn't it? He's been instrumental all, all this second half. He is really driven from midfield, causing some great areas to score goals. And that is a great example of the set piece. That's worked well for us, not, not been um, two great set pieces over the last few games, but that's brilliant for us. Such is the talent of Casey Palmer. Nigel Pearson looks up to the media area. I think he can hear the cries of the respective media teams. Casey Palmer looks to the skies. First goal of the season in the championship for Bristol City. And a huge goal at that. I think he'll stroll out to the ball a bit more. <laughs> He's going to score like that every time. It's as though he knew. <laughs> what, what a reaction from the lads there. You know, that, that reaction there just shows me that they have worked so hard for 80 minutes to fight for that. And when an opportunity like that comes in. It's a well-worked set piece, by the way. That, that's just not a, a shot gone in. That's it's good on both ends, isn't it? You know, they're probing us again. But we're Ball sticking to the, the task. Ayu swivels on the spot, gets the shot away, but he drives it wide. And everybody breathes a collective sigh of relief. Yeah, you do, because you know what quality in them areas he possesses. And he... Uh, like Casey, he can roll you. You only need a deflection there and he can go in, so bodies on the line as always, but we need to get that ball wide, keep it wide and prevent the shots, really. White shirts flooding forward, but there's Callas again. How many clearances has he made? Could Bristol City break here? It's Semenyo. Wells is bursting forward as well. Can he steal the game? Naki Wells! Pulls it wide. So unlucky. So unlucky. I thought the pass was a little bit stretched for Naki, but sometimes they're good ones. You just get a toe on it. Hearts beating out of every Bristol City fan's chests at the moment as Masengo gets ready to come on. One minute for Bristol City to see out here. And it's ricocheted off Semenyo and it's in! And Bristol City have the third at the Liberty Stadium and they seal all three points. Antoine Semenyo with his first championship goal of the season. A stunning victory in South Wales. Red shirts bundle on the young striker. And Bristol City, from the depths of despair, have two wins in two on the road. The perfect week. And it's Antoine Semenyo off the bench to seal the points. The intuition to close down Freddie Woodman. Swansea players waiting for the ball to be thumped far up the field, unaware of the situation that was unfolding beyond them. And Semenyo does the rest. And there is Nigel Pearson's reaction. Disbelief on the bench. 
All that's left to happen now is for the final whistle to blow. A quite remarkable afternoon if you're a Bristol City fan. Watching this performance, backs to the wall defending in that first half. An unfortunate penalty to concede by Casey Palmer. Andre Ayew converted. And then a quite stunning comeback at the Liberty Stadium. You can see with a smile on Nigel Pearson's face that that is thoroughly deserved. Goals from Naki Wells, Casey Palmer and Semenyo in the final 30 minutes seals the points. The final score at the Liberty Stadium, Swansea City 1, Bristol City 3.